What are you doing here? Um, I am fixing this. We're putting plans for the mud room. So our first diagram has gotten a little tattered. Probably uh, frame this for posterity. Maybe. Maybe. It's kind of nasty. So we're redrawing things right now. We've got in our bedroom. We got our window in over here. This is where the bed is. Probably closet's going to be here. Closet's going to be there. We got a window right there. This window has been moved to the right spot now. Let's see here. I think it probably broke. You have to hold it vertically for it to gravity feed. You just see it. And then, what are you drawing in right there? I'm drawing in my kitchen. I'm kind of more of a perfectionist in drawings than my husband. So. Hence the idea of why don't you draw it, honey? One, two, three. I'm just trying to fit everything in. There's three, six and a half. Hmm. Trying to, we're trying to figure out where plumbing's gonna go. We're trying to find out where our electrical's gonna go because we'll be having them come and spray phone as soon as we close in the um, roof. Um, so we got to get our electrical in, we've got to get our plumbing in, um, but I don't think that'll be a problem because everything will be, nothing's going on the outside wall, it's just the one wall that's shared by the bathroom and the kitchen that has any plumbing at all. So, um, so this is kitchen here, mm -hmm. this is bathroom and all the plumbing is going to be basically in that wall. Yeah. And then I got to find out electrical, where I want electrical. I really don't want any above our head or by our head when we're sleeping. So I don't think we'll, I don't know what we'll do here. John will have to figure that one out. Um, and then the mud room, which is really the dog room. Let's call it the dog room. I'm not putting my washer and dryer in here. My husband thinks I should. I'm not going to. I want all this extra space. I'm going to put a uh, chest freezer out here. How about using a pencil to point out where you're doing I'm going to put a chest freezer somewhere on this wall. Um, I'll put a window in here somewhere and a long bench that the dogs can sleep in little cubby holes underneath. And then I'll put a window or something here so that they can get up and look out and see maybe over here, here and here. Nothing on the west. Um, Why? I don't want the west sun coming in. Too hot. Too hot. So um, I'll probably put a window here and a window here somewhere. This is a door. That's the door. Uh, a mud room bench. So you can sit down, put our boots on, and everything. I think the dogs will all, all go along here. Mariah is pregnant again, so I need to get a whelping area for her. Um, and then the puppies can stay out here and not be a big problem. Plus the other little dogs can sleep out here. Our, the majority of everybody should be confined here at night. That would be really nice. We will have this sprayed in too. So we need to hurry up and get this built. Um, get the funds and get that built. Get it sprayed at the same time. Uh, put a little furnace out here. Propane furnace right across from this wall, we'll just run it underneath, I'll go here. Keep it a little bit warm out there 
so it doesn't freeze. Um, but I'll keep my washer and dryer over in the mechanical room that's going to have the two pressure tank, water pressurized tanks in it, our water system with the filters and everything, our batteries, and just our whole system will kind of divide up the batteries, put them in their own little space. And that's going to go out there and it's going to be light straw clay, about a foot thick, um, and figure out a way to make that super insulated so that we don't have to worry about it freezing. Um, we've done pretty good for two, two winters with the little lean-to that John built on the shed out here. The shed will go bye-bye. Um, John's pole barn over here will go bye-bye soon. We'll get another building for him and then we'll clear all this out so when you look north you'll see a good view. Not all sorts of crap. Our cars will park right out here on the north side. We'll come in through the mud door, be able to drop everything off right on the island in the kitchen. And, and come in through, park back here. Uh -huh, come Somewhere in. Somewhere back here. Come in through this door. Yep, because this is north. South. West. And east. So, we'll come in through here, have a buffer from the cold wind, bring it in here, and this is going to be um, about six and a half feet, and then we'll have the foot and a half overhang that John's already made out here with the um, exposed rafter tails. We'll do the same thing here, so it'll be along, all along here and here, and then on the front of this with a, about a foot and a half overhang on the metal roof. So we're getting 16 foot long corrugated metal panels and so we only have to cut them in half. I made this so it will fit with the overhang 8 foot so we don't have to buy a whole bunch of more panels. So that's why it's going to end up being around 6 foot deep for the mudroom and then um, 15 feet in length, which I think should be able to fit in extra storage and stuff that we need. So that's it. That's what we're doing. Because the heat up until just recently was over a hundred temperature wise and heat index wise, I don't know, 105. So we didn't do anything out here today yet. We're figuring this out and figuring out the direction we want to go. But I think this looks pretty good. I have three foot in between the kitchen and the island, or the kitchen counter and the island. This is the stove. This is the sink with the window. That's the sink window. Right here, I've measured out all of the cabinets that I already own that we brought with us. And I figured out where I can use each one of those here. And one of them is going in the bathroom. Then we did buy a used vanity that can go here, have a used toilet, a Kohler um, low flow. And then we still have to get the bathtub. Or I might just make this into a shower. I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe I can get John to build me an outdoor tub I can soak in. Can I do that? Can you? Probably. Because that's what I need. I need a tub to soak in. And it wouldn't be bad to have an outdoor one. Um, maybe even a two-person hot tub or something that we just keep filled with salt water. What do you think about that? Possible. Okay. So, this might turn into a standing shower. And we still haven't figured out a window from there. i got to figure that out. That's it.